Hi, welcome to Ramesh Soft Video Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we'll talk uh, types of interfaces. So, we have three types of interfaces are available in Java generally. So, first one is functional interface, which came in 1.8 version, and uh, marker interface, and uh, fully abstract uh, interface. Now, what is a functional interface? Means um, an interface is said to be functional interface if and only if uh, that interface should contain only one abstract method, exactly one abstract method with um, any number of default methods with any number of uh, static methods. So, such kind of interfaces we can call as a functional interface. What is a marker interface? If the interface doesn't have any abstract methods, such kind of methods we can call as a what? Marker interface. What is fully abstract interface? It contains only abstract methods. Such kind of uh, interface we can call as a fully abstract methods. So let me implement a functional interface. Now a lot of examples we'll see in 1.8 uh, in coming videos we'll talk collaboratively. Now see here. Now see here what I'm doing. So just uh, one second. Now let me create a uh, right click. No, I am creating one interface as a one class as a functional test. Now see here what I am doing. Let's stop it here. Now here I am writing one method as a void hello. Hello. Now it can have any number of default methods. So from 1.8 version onwards, inside interface we can have default methods as well. So elaborate will talk in coming videos. So 1.8 separate videos are there 1.8 and 1.9 there will talk elaborated. So how can we invoke lambda expressions by using this functional interface all those things will talk. So default method inside interface. Now let me write one more method public static void why I'm writing sample methods greetings greetings now inside this I'm writing syso of welcome to run soft now any number of any number of default methods we can have any number of static methods we can have from 1.9 version onwards inside interface we can also have private methods private methods now see here here I am having how many abstract methods? Only one. Inside interface, whether you declare or not, by default, every abstract, every method is become a public abstract. So, my spelling mistake is there. Yes. Now, see here. Really, this is a functional interface or not. To check, to check in 1.8, we have one annotation called functional interface functional interface. So what this annotation will do and it's going to check uh, this class is having exactly one abstract method is there or not. Now see here it is it. That's why it is functional interface. Let me comment on it. Now see here what I'm getting here compile time error. So invalid at the rate functional interface annotation. It is that uh, compulsory it should have what one abstract method exactly one. Let me declare one more method abstract method void uh, course void course now see here what happens so here i'm going to get what compile time error that means uh, when we can say an uh, interface is functional interface if and only if uh, if the interface is having only one and only a one abstract method and if you want it can have what any number of default methods any number of static methods such kind of interfaces we can call as a functional interface. So what is the use of this functional interface, right? So to invoke lambda expressions, uh, functional interface plays a key role. So we'll talk in 1.8 versions elaboratively, right? I hope you understood what is functional interface. What is functional interface? If the interface is having exactly one abstract method uh, with any number of default methods and with any number of static methods, uh, such kind of interfaces we can call as a functional interfaces. Next one. 
marker interfaces so before going to marker interfaces let me show some examples for this uh, functional interface as a part of java 1.8 now see here i'm looking for a predicate predicate which is from 1.8 java dot util function package now see here now see here predicate is a what functional interface it is having only one abstract method what is that test but it is having default methods or not any number of default methods it can have it no problem but uh, it should have what only one abstract method such kind of interface we can call as a what interfaces functional interfaces now what is a marker interface now what is marker interface if the interface uh, doesn't have any abstract methods zero methods such kind of interfaces we can call as a marker interface then we may have the doubt then what is the use of this marker interfaces that is whenever our classes are implementing marker interfaces our classes internally will get uh, some capability to hold up something like uh, just observe here what are predefined marker interface are there random axis interface it is a marker interface one more is serializable interface serializable interface and one more is a clonable interface that is whenever our class is implements a clonable interface our class is able to hold create what a duplicate object of that original copy whenever a class implements a random access interface we can get the elements we can pick up the elements with the same speed whenever a class implements serializable interface we can hold up that state of an object right now see here now see here let me show it on the screen so let me type here random axis random axis interface now see here is it having any interface no that's why it is a what marker interface let me show it a clonable interface now say which is as a part of java.lang package is it having any interfaces no so all these we can call it as a what marker interfaces what is a marker interface if the interface doesn't have any methods zero methods such kind of interfaces we can call it as a marker interface now third one fully abstract it means uh, what is fully abstract interface if the interface is having only only abstract methods abstract methods only abstract methods no default method no static methods no private methods only abstract methods such kind of interfaces we can call as a fully abstract interface so up to 1.7 and below all interface are we can call as what fully abstract interfaces and uh, if the if the interface are having zero methods such kind of interface we can call as what marker interfaces right now in normally at the class level i am having two classes like uh, i am having class a and uh, class b so class b so class b can extend ca yes no problem at all no problem at all single level inheritance is possible suppose i am having one more class uh, called c so can we extend uh, more than one class in java no that is uh, multiple inheritance is not possible because we are going to get a uh, ambiguity problems that's why multiple inheritance is not possible that is a class cannot extend some um, more than one class at a time when it comes to interfaces an interface can extend uh, more than one interface at a time that's why we used to call class level multiple inheritance is not possible but interface level multiple inheritance is possible that is uh, let me write uh, interface i am writing this one as a interface and i am writing this one as a interface and uh, interface now see here an interface uh, can extend some uh, more than one interface at a time no problem at all that is a uh, multiple inheritance is possible at a uh, what level interface level now see here now see here so let me take uh, let me close all now see here what i am doing taking what i am doing now i am taking here 
इंटरफेस ए इंटरफेस बी नो आई एम टेकिंग वन मोर इंटरफेस सी एक्सटेंस एक्सटेंस ए कामा बी एक्सटेंस ए कामा बी सॉरी इंटरफेस सी extends a comma b that is uh, an interface can extends more than one interface at a time that's why multiple inheritance is possible at what level interface a level right now now see here a class can extend uh, a class and it can implement what any number of interfaces now see here what i'm doing class test uh, test test uh, implements implements so before that a class can extends uh, another class another class so let me write here let me create a class demo class demo now now see here a class uh, can extends a class and implements uh, any number of interfaces perfectly it is valid but uh, a class can extends another class and implements any number of interfaces well and uh, a class implements interfaces and then followed by extends uh, it is invalid let me let me write it here it means uh, a class can extends and then implements but uh, class cannot implements and then extends class a implements interface uh, i1 and uh, extends uh, class b it is what invalid so if you do like that uh, we'll get what compile time error that is uh, a class can extends class and then implements the uh, interfaces and uh, a class cannot implements and then extends no it is what invalid invalid now 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 see here so so let me take let me write in this way so inside the interface whatever we declare by default those will become what public static final right now see here what i am doing just to delete all those things now delete this functional interface as well now see here what i am doing suppose uh, why multiple inheritance is not allowed in java if the same classes uh, i have a class and i have b class if a class i am having a class inside a class i am having a method called m1 inside b class i am having a method called m1 and uh, class c extends a comma b so there we are going to get what ambiguity problems right now let me go through this interface now just observe here what happens just observe here i am having interface i1 inside this interface i am having a method called hello now i am having one more interface i2 i2 now this interface also is having the same method now i am providing implements i1 comma i2 i1 comma i2 now see here so here we need to provide implement is for two methods so only one method is enough only one method is enough that's why in interface level we won't get any ambiguity problems that is if two interfaces is having the common methods in the implemented classes in the implementation class overriding provide implementations for what two methods is enough only one method only one method is enough in the same way when it comes to classes this is let feel that this is the class and this is class so if class interface demo extends a i1 comma i2 there we are going to get what ambiguity problems but inside interfaces uh, we solved that ambiguity problems by providing implementations of this common methods as a what a single 
method that's why multiple inheritance is possible at what level interface level right now now see here now see here some something like a, a class can extend the only one class at a time that is a single level inheritance is allowed but multi level inheritance is not possible a class can implement uh, any number of interfaces no problem at all a class can extend and then what uh, implements any number of interfaces but a cannot uh, a class cannot implement and then what uh, extends right now now see here so inside this interface i am having one method one variable called string name is equal to i am writing here from a soft now here also i am writing variable as from a soft as you know that inside interface whether we declare or not every variable by default is become what public static final now see here i want to access this name so as this static uh, how can we access so write the main method so how can we access interface name uh, dot uh, what is that name so if you want you can keep sys for statement now i want this name i2 name second interface name i2 dot name see here just let me run this program right click run as java application now see here from a soft time from is soft so if the interface is having two same common methods in the implementation classes providing overriding implementation or uh, providing implementation one common method is enough that's why we won't get any ambiguity problems if the interface is having common variable names sir uh, as we declare or not by default every variable is become what public static final so we can access um, this variables with what is that interface name so we know that uh, if the variables are methods are static uh, we can access that variables uh, and that methods with what interface names are class names okay so thanks for watching the video have a good day